Hi, th this is Richard McKenzie. Uh, this video module is on adding features to a product. We've had one overriding uh, rule in uh, seeking to maximize uh, welfare or seeking to maximize profits, and that is an individual should do something for which the gain exceeds the pain. In the case of business, it's where the revenue exceeds the cost of, of producing the good. We have um, uh, talked in terms of how much should be produced, and we've always said uh, that a firm should weigh off the marginal uh, cost against the, the marginal benefit. Uh, if the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost, uh, then the unit uh, should be produced. In terms of our uh, supply and demand curve analysis, we have simply said uh, that the demand curve indicates uh, the additional uh, value of producing additional units, and you go on down the line. The, mar the supply curve indicates the marginal cost of producing these units, and we have um, said that the efficient output level is, is Q QE. The reason is that for every unit prior to uh, QE, the marginal value exceeds uh, the marginal uh, cost. So for every one of these units up to uh, Q, um, QE, uh, there is some gain to be had either by consumers or, or producers. And of course the producer wouldn't uh, uh, produce additional units unless there were additional gains, and there are. The producer gets a price of PE, and for this unit uh, the price is above the marginal cost, and so on up uh, the line uh, to a quantity of QE. Well the problem we want to consider today is uh, suppose that a producer wants to add a, a new feature uh, to a product. This new feature can be a second or third uh, color. It can be a new uh, computer chip, chip which allows for a new function in something like a handheld calculator. Or uh, it can be a new instrument uh, like global positioning uh, capability to uh, an automobile. Well, we know that the new feature will only be added if the additional gain to consumers is greater than the additional cost, because if that is the case, there is a mutually beneficial trade uh, to be made. Now, this means that if a feature is added, the cost of the product is going to rise. That means that the supply curve is going to shift up something like, like that, represent with the vertical distance represent, representing uh, the added uh, cost. If the um, uh, cost goes up, we know that there must be a uh, proportionally greater uh, increase in demand. Uh, this vertical distance indicates uh, the added value from the additional feature with the ad added value equaling uh, the difference between these two uh, curves. Without the feature, the consumer was willing to pay something, a price at this level. With the new feature, they're willing to pay uh, more. This vertical distance is the change in price that consumers are willing to pay. And to our way of thinking, that indicates the, that is a price uh, equivalent uh, to the added value of the product. We know that the market is going to move to uh, this position where the quantity uh, consumed and produced will be Q1 and the, the price will be uh, P1. Now the question we must now ask is, uh, is this uh, added feature uh, mutually beneficial? And the answer is yes. Uh, the price goes up, consumers have to pay more and of course they would prefer not to do that, but by the same token their added value uh, from this new feature is going to be this vertical distance, which is equal to uh, the change in, in the price up there. These two uh, vertical distances are, are the same. So the price goes up, but uh, the consumers were willing to pay an even greater price. So we can say that the consumers are better off as a consequence. Are the producers better off? Well, they get this uh, this added price, but notice that their cost goes up uh, by this vertical distance. 
uh, the price goes up by, say, $7, their cost goes up by, say, $4, the producers gain uh, in that particular case. And indeed, we might uh, expect there to be mutual gain simply because output goes up from QE uh, to Q1. And that must suggest uh, that somehow uh, both, both parties gain or else how can you get more uh, produced? 